This video will show you how to install Boost Auto Parts replacement towing mirror lights for your 2019 or newer Silverado or Sierra 1500 truck or 2020 or newer Silverado or Sierra 2500 or 3500 truck. For exact fitment, please check our website at BoostAutoParts.com. The functions of these lights vary. We offer white running light, amber running light, and turn signal, and sequential turn signal. To see all the options, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Angle the upper and lower glass all the way down, then reach your hands behind the lower glass and securely snap it off. It's just a press fit design. If you previously purchased Boost Auto Parts heated lower glass kit, disconnect the terminals. If you're interested in this kit and do not yet have it, this would be a good time to do the upgrade as it will not take any extra installation time. If you do break your glass, Boost Auto Parts carries a full range of replacement glass. Angle the upper glass up, then reach behind it and snap it off. It's a press fit design. Then remove the glass entirely. Disconnect the wires for the upper defrost as well as the blind spot monitoring if originally equipped. If you previously installed Boost Auto Parts turn signal and glass upgrade, be sure to disconnect the wire on the back for the turn signal on glass. If you did not, you can purchase the signal on glass upgrade from Boost Auto Parts and while installing these lights, it will not take more than 5 minutes to swap over to the glass with the turn signal integrated. Remove the four T15 screws holding the shroud on. Pull the shroud away from the mirror housing. When doing so, be sure to hang on to the lower cap on the side as it will fall. You can remove the lower cap. The upper cap can remain on the mirror. Unplug the rear facing cargo light if equipped and remove the shroud. Telescope the mirror out halfway. Here's a side profile shot to show how it should look from the side. Remove the four screws retaining the motor to the mirror housing. To access the screws, tilt the motor towards the screw you're looking to access and remove them with a T15. Pull the motor away from the housing to access the connector on the back side. Unplug the connector going to the motor and remove the motor completely. Remove these three additional T15 screws. Depress the latch on the connector and unplug the connector from the front light. Separate the front and rear shroud by pulling them apart from each other. Then grab the OEM light and remove it. Take the new light provided by Boost Auto Parts and slide it into position. When doing so, make sure the screw bosses for the light line up perfectly. Plug the Boost Auto Parts replacement light in. Telescope the mirror all the way in. Replace these three T15 screws. For the upper two, make sure they are lined up properly with the replacement Boost Auto Parts light. Plug the motor back in. It is a keyed connector, so make sure you're inserting it properly. Being careful not to pinch the harness, line up the motor with the existing screw bosses, making sure the text is facing the proper direction to ensure the motor is going to operate properly, then replace the four T15 screws. Slide the cap back into position. There is a lip that rides in the channel in the mirror. You're going to begin by snapping that together, and then the cap should slide up slightly. Hold the cap while installing the front shroud. Make sure your wiring harness for the cargo light is coming out of this upper hole here and that the wires are not pinched. Then plug it into your cargo light. Place the front shroud onto the mirror. Begin by routing any wires straight in through here. For the blind spot monitoring, it'll come through this top corner. Then place the shroud into position, making sure to retain the cap while placing the shroud into position. Replace the four T15 screws. Plug in any of the connectors on the back of your glass. When reinstalling the glass, these four metal stabilization pins need to ride on the inside of these plastic guides on the mirror assembly. Make sure that the metal rides on the inner part of the guide. Once all those metal pins are inside their guides, carefully take the palm of your hand and press the glass onto the motor. If you have the Boost Auto Parts heated lower glass upgrade kit, be sure to plug back in the heating element for the lower glass. Line the lower glass up with the lower mount, then securely using the palm of your hand, snap it into position. The procedure is the same for the driver and passenger side. Shown here, we have a switchback sequential, which is a white running light with a sequential amber turn signal. 
However, the light will function depending on how you order it. As shown here, we also have an amber running light with a sequential amber turn signal, as well as many other options. Please check these out and other products for your truck or SUV at our website at BoostAutoParts.com.